Carol is very worried about Catherine. Yeah. And I think it all leads down to here where she feels like she's cheerleading for Catherine. But then there was a clean break, a separation that left Carol, Catherine's mom, feeling ignored and hurt. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Princess Catherine Windsor Mountbatten's situation uh, through the eyes of her mother, Carol Middleton. The question today is, what does Carol Middleton currently think of her daughter, Catherine Princess of Wales or Catherine Windsor Mountbatten? What does Carol Middleton currently think of her daughter? All right, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to use this deck, the Meryl Tarot. Yeah, so let's start here. What does Carol Middleton think of her daughter, Catherine, Princess of Wales? Thank you. So we're getting a lot of cards here, a lot of action, okay? Let's get in there. All right, all right. Awesome. Let's leave that as an outlier in case we need more clarity or confirmation. Let me go ahead and set these up. Okay, so what does Carol Middleton think of her daughter, Princess of Wales currently? What does she think of the Princess of Wales? What does Carol Middleton think of the Princess of Wales currently? Our daughter okay we got this one and we got these three came out together so we're going with it what does carol middleton think of her daughter prince catherine princess of wales catherine windsor mountbatten currently we'll go with this one and then last but not least we got these two coming from here what does carol middleton think of her daughter Catherine Windsor Mountbatten currently. We'll go with these two right here. Wonderful. And let's not forget the dice. One, two. Sorry. Three, four. And five and One fill out and one more. Okay. What does Carol Middleton think of what does Carol Middleton think of her daughter, Catherine Princess of Wales, or Catherine Windsor Mountbatten? Thank you. Okay, great. Straddling those, so we've got the all-seeing eye. Maybe eyes are the window to the soul. Okay, we've got this. Right, looks kind of like a. Oops, can you see this? Looks kind of like a war shark, or um, a, maybe like a a pair of organs or a letter H. These are just abstract symbols all over, like little, basically like tea leaves. But this is the symbol we're getting, okay? Looks like an H or a rung on a ladder, a lot of things. So that's traveling both of these. And then we've got a spiral, a sacred spiral. And then we are getting a big heart flows into a little heart. Okay. And then we're getting spade. It's called a spade a spade. And then we're getting patient. Patience is a virtue. All right, let us begin. We're getting the king of wands. I see someone all lit up, full of fire, full of action. Full of initiative and assertiveness at this time. She thinks that Prince William has taken charge of Catherine's 
situation. She thinks her daughter's wealthy and rolling in it, okay? She feels that her daughter brings her wealth, okay? Okay, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and keep taking a look at what's happening here. Let's get more of a picture. I don't want to jump to conclusions. We got the Ace of Swords. All right. That's, she feels like her daughter is intelligent. She thinks her daughter has it right. Her daughter is, is thinking with the wisdom of the crown, right? With the wisdom and experience of the crown. And this is the Ace of Swords. She also feels like her daughter has, you know, Carol thinks that Kate has made a severance of something okay she's cut something loose and then we are getting number 83 this is an a couple hanging out maybe she cut her parents loose and doesn't really talk much with them and they are playing with birds together okay maybe at the park feeding the birds being generous i feel like she feels that her daughter carol feels her daughter has made a clean break and is just spending time with her husband, family, in a park, just en engaging the simple pleasures of life, okay? Absolutely no, like, big pressures, no um, plenty of money, and just taking time, her time and spending time recuperating. And she feels that her daughter has been generous as well. Yeah. She feels that her daughter has been generous. She's, she's making it rain. And look, these little birds are being fed, which indicates, you know, generosity and giving. So she feels that her daughter is intelligent, giving. I'm seeing a lot of giving here, that her daughter is very giving. I get the feeling that Kate may have helped her mom recently financially in some kind of way. I mean, I, do, I don't know. Please don't come for me. I'm just saying I'm sure that her parents are very wealthy. I'm just saying that I do see that Kate has been financially helpful to her family. And this is what uh, Carol thinks of Kate at this time. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm really, I'm still puzzling this sort of two halves joined. I'm getting like twins from this, okay? I think she's very close to Catherine at this time. Or would like to be, but with the Ace of Swords present, it's kind of unlikely. Carol is all over it, sharing her daughter along motivating her daughter, you know, helping to support her daughter's morale. And at the same time, Kate has made it rain for her mom, okay? So, okay, next we are looking at the Five of Swords. Okay. And we're seeing someone in the background here with their head bent, you see? If you can get a good look there. Someone's sulking. Someone's the loser, right? She feels like so, someone's thinking about themselves only and has neglected or turned their back on someone else. Okay? Interesting. Okay. Next we are seeing number 26. I told you. Uh, Carol views Kate as being with her husband right now. Just living a married life. Carol feels like Catherine separated herself and is focusing on Catherine's life. And, you know, I get the feeling here that perhaps... Um, her mom thinks that she's all about spending time with William and spending time in that part of the family, which, which causes, leads her mom to sulk at times or feel alone. But I do still feel that Catherine has been generous with Carol. Okay. Yeah. I see the spiral here too. Carol feels like Catherine is lost deep in the maze of her relationship okay she's she's sucked in she feels like kate is sucked in right that was sitting on top of this car into her life as a royal so let, let me get more information i want to get more information about what this is about remember I, I said that carol maybe views catherine as having made a clean break from something okay and so i feel maybe she's made a clean break from her parents and sometimes even though carol would love to be attached at the hip Okay, she feels that Catherine has become all about herself now and, and doesn't really uh, make much room for Carol at this time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next card. We're getting Let Them All Talk, Six of Wands. She 
she feels like her daughter's self-esteem is very high right now. Okay, Carol feels that Catherine's self-esteem is very high right now. Carol thinks that Catherine does not care what people say. On the newspapers, it says here, let them talk. And then we're getting, you always, you never. I guess that's a movie that Meryl Streep was in. But my point is, Carol understands that Catherine doesn't have to answer to anyone. She understands that she's always there. It says here, you always. And it says, you never. And she doesn't ever have to be there either. Like, she could take it or leave it. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. That Carol feels that Catherine views public appearances. You can see this woman standing on the podium about to give a speech. As, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. She doesn't have to do it. That's how, that's what Carol thinks Catherine is, is going through or experiencing or expressing right now. I'll see you, resurrection. Right. Yeah, let them all talk and then resurrection. She just feels like, Carol feels like Catherine is biding her time until she's ready to come out and say something. And that will be a time of her own choosing. Okay, that will be a time of her own choosing. She wants people to all talk until they see the day that Catherine rises again, right? We're seeing resurrection, rises again, kind of like Jesus Christ. I think Carol feels that she's fine with letting people talk and say whatever they want to say about Catherine and that Catherine is going to have her day in the sun coming up shortly, okay, or whenever she chooses. Next, we're seeing the Ten of Swords. Hmm. And we're getting the little big heart becomes a little heart. Okay. Ten of swords. Okay, so... Carol feels that... Carol thinks that Catherine suffered some kind of defeat when it comes to her marriage. Okay. Carol thinks that all the negative things that happened in the relationship are now at an end. It's come to an end. All, Carol thinks that all the negative things that happened in Car Catherine's relationship with William have all come to an end. We've got the big heart becoming the little heart. Hmm. Let me see what the next card is saying. It says toxic. Yeah. She thinks that Ca Catherine, Carol thinks that Catherine is in a toxic relationship. That has caused a lot of, there's been a lot of betrayal. There's been a lot of heartache for Catherine, Princess Kate. And it's left Princess Kate feeling sad in the background. Like she was bullied. She feels like maybe Catherine was bullied. Okay. Interesting. That's quite sad. This is the uh, bonus card. But let me go ahead and see what the rest are saying. We got the spade, which is basically synonymous with the, eight, the, so, uh, the suit of swords in tarot. Which is synonymous with the mental plane. Thoughts, thinking, ideas, the power of mind, discipline, you name it, making distinctions. We have the Nine of Swords. Wow. <sighs> I feel that Carol is very worried about Catherine. Yeah. And I think it all leads down to here where she feels like she's cheerleading, she's cheerleading for Catherine. But then there was a clean break, a separation that left Carol, Catherine's mom, feeling ignored and hurt. I feel that, you know, based on what I'm seeing here, I feel like Catherine is handling her own business at this time. And it's not uh, maybe including her mother <coughs> or, or taking her mother's counsel at this time. She allows her mother to encourage her, to cheer her along. She likes to receive messages to say, hang in there and keep going on. And then she has helped her mom out. I see that. To help them have a good retirement. But I, I feel that she is worried about Kate. She's worried about Kate. Yeah, Carol is worried about Kate. Let's get more information. We're getting patient, which is often advice. These are like advice dice. And the snake. Oh my goodness. Carol is worried about Catherine because of the illness. Remember, we got this card the first time when we asked... That first video I did where I accurately predicted that she had cancer, we got this card for Catherine saying there is something lurking, okay? 
that will strike. There is a, a snake in the grass. It's not a potential. It's a matter of timing, okay? It's a matter of timing. Once the snake gets hungry, it's going to wait for prey and strike. And so Carol is very worried about this. And I see patient. Yeah, she's being she's trying to show patience as they work through this issue with Catherine's health. Okay? Trying to be patient. Um, because she feels like it's a waiting game. It's a, wait, a bit of a waiting game with the health concern that Catherine is experiencing right now. I want more information about this uh, Nine of Swords and the snake. And we're going to use this as our explanation, our clarifier. Okay, I, I, this is the question I have that stands out most in my mind is, what is Carol worried about when it comes to Catherine? We are getting death. Wow. Carol is worried about Catherine dying. She doesn't want to lose her daughter. Does not want to lose her daughter. Okay. Let me pick a couple of cards uh, real quick. Uh, I want to use the Narata cards on this one. This is just a little bonus reading. I kind of want to pull a few cards out here to give some clarif additional clarifications. So we can clarify some of what we're seeing here. Point blank. Okay. Um, what does Carol Middleton view as Catherine Princess of Wales? Catherine Windsor Mountbatten's current status, health status. Okay, we're getting this one was sticking out. We're getting that one. Okay. Um, sure. And um, I'm getting this one, and this one wanted to come out. Okay, I think we're good for now. All right, let's take a look. First card we're getting is Vampire. Okay, we're definitely getting um, that she feels that, that Catherine is alive, but is having to feed on maybe the blood of others to stay alive. Maybe she's having to do a lot of transfusions. Or she feels like something is preying on uh, Catherine or draining Catherine's energy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get more clarity as we go along here. Telescope. Okay, hmm. this is about her current status, okay, like her well-being. Could also mean that she's keeping an eye on Catherine from afar. Neighbors. And lastly, boss. I think that Carol might have concerns. I feel that Carol is concerned that maybe her daughter is being drained. You know, her daughter is being drained alive. She has concerns for her daughter's safety. I see that here with a vampire. It could be a person. It could be uh, maybe she's concerned about someone uh, sort of preying on her daughter. You know, next I'm seeing telescope. I think she tries to spy on her daughter. Mm -hmm. She tries to use technology to spy on her daughter either by calling her. Uh, texting her maybe she has uh i don't know what it is she might even have tracking software on her daughter's phone i don't know if they allow for that but i just get the feeling that she's having to be she's not very she's not physically close to um I, I don't feel like she's physically close to Catherine. i don't feel like carol carol is physically close to Catherine right now i don't feel that i feel that maybe she lives near yes yeah, she's not. She's she just watches her from afar, basically. Okay, Carol watches Kate from afar. I don't get. I don't get the feeling there are a lot of meetings based on the cards I'm seeing here. I don't get the feeling that she's constantly by Catherine's side. Okay, I don't. I don't get that. But I do get the feeling that she calls her to motivate her, and cheer her along, and keep her strong. Okay, keep her morale up. Um, I feel that she has seen. I feel like Carol has seen Catherine and William about. She's seen them walking about. She's seen them. Maybe she lives near them in some kind of way. But I feel like she's seen them out and about. Okay. And also, perhaps she has someone spying for her and it's their neighbor. Ah, it's someone working the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Carol Middleton has a spy, right? Who is a worker there. Who's giving her updates on how Kate and William are doing. And that's a bit of a shame. You know, she should be able to just call her daughter, check on her daughter. Easy peasy, complete transparency. There's just a lot of veiled stuff going on with the Royals that I find to be dis a bit disconcerting. Next, we are seeing Boss. Okay. I think that Carol's busy. Carol is busy running a business, I think. And she feels that the, the feedback she's been getting from people that, oh, I've seen him around. I've seen her. I saw William again. She's accepting those. She's accepting that information. Okay. She is. Uh, and she has her ways of spying on Kate. But she has concerns about someone preying on her or something that's draining her. Yeah, someone's praying. She feels like someone. Let me get more information about this vampire. Spirit, could you please clarify this vampire card for me that's popping up here? I mean, what does Carol Middleton think of uh, Kate's well being currently? What does vampire mean here, please? Could you give us some clarity? Thank you. I think we just got a talker. House. I feel like Kate is aware, I mean, Carol is aware that Catherine is safe, right? We saw that home with a couple walking about in the gardens and the gardener noticing them and possibly mentioning something, probably the gardener. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm seeing here, but I'm getting that. Okay, please, uh, please tell me more about this vampire card here. Thank you. Give me more clarity and insight. That one fell out. Okay. Wizard. Magician, computer, genius, witchcraft, medium, voodoo, Houdini, magic spell, Gandalf, illusionist, occultist, cursed, dark powers, ancient ritual, healing, magic, clairvoyant. I feel like Carol may be aware, or she, maybe she has this thinking that someone with dark powers has targeted her daughter. Someone with, like, dark magical powers has cast a negative spell on her daughter, okay? She feels like there's like a vampire preying on her daughter's health because she feels that her daughter should be healthy and not falling apart like she is. And so this is her, what she thinks. She thinks that her daughter is being preyed upon in that house where they live, where they live, uh, in, in, the royal, in their royal home. That there needs to be a purging there needs to be like an exorcism. Yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of what I'm seeing as well. Spirit, is there anything else you want to tell me today about what does Carol Middleton think of her? Okay, anything else you want to tell me today? Okay, we're getting find way home. I think Carol may want Catherine to come back home. She's like, find your way home. Come back home. Yellow Brick Road, Odysseus, Lost New Beginning, Forgiveness, Alone. Long Walk, Winding Road, Winding, Road Sign, Woods, Kidnapped. Also, I'm getting like, you know, Carol is feeling like her baby's lost right now into another world, okay? Again, more information, please. What does Carol Middleton think of Kate Middle, uh, Kate, what does Carol Middleton think of Catherine Windsor Mountbatten at this time? Yeah, I feel like, I think maybe it's possible that Carol is not able to get a hold of Catherine like she would like. Aww, she loves her daughter. She loves her daughter. Mary, she feels like her daughter is loved by her children. She has empathy for her daughter right now. What else, Spirit? What does Carol Milton think of her daughter, Catherine Windsor Mountbatten at this time? We'll go with this one. History. That they share a lot of history together. And that she's going to go down in history. She feels like her daughter's going to go down in the history books. But I'm also getting like ancient history vibes. Like, I feel like, you know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking that Carol, not that Carol has written off Catherine, but has let go of Catherine and let Catherine go live her life. 
She's like, Catherine is doing what Catherine does and is living her own life. And she's not part of this, my world like that anymore. Okay, so what else, Spirit, anything else? What else is Carol Middleton thinking about Princess Catherine Windsor Mountbatten at this time? Okay, that fell out. The one that fell is saying hotel. B&B, &B, honeymoon, room service, check-in, all booked. Hotel, restaurant, airport. Bell Boy Luxury Suite, Don't Disturb, Room Key, fi Fling, All Inclusive, Tavern. You see, she just feels like her daughter's like fancy and has checked into this place that's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I told you guys that um, in my last reading that Catherine's not there right now. Catherine is not at her usual haunt. She's not at her usual neck of the woods. She has left and gone to some soothing seaside locale where she, it's just beachy and peaceful and it's like a retreat for her daughter she feels like her daughter is just on a retreat taken away from the daily and like a seaside she, she's like is not being disturbed right now her daughter is not being disturbed so i like i said i don't feel like she is very close to uh, she's not like constantly, you know, like I know where she is and I just feel like I'm going to go visit my daughter today and she can just pick up and go visit Catherine. I feel like it's not like that. There is a separation caused by the crown between the two. Okay, there's a separation. Uh, let me see a couple more cards. Anything else about what does Carol Middleton think of Windsor Mountbatten? I'm sorry, what does Carol Middleton think of Catherine Windsor Mountbatten, please? Anything else? What does Carol Middleton think of Catherine Windsor Mountbatten, please? That one flew, those two flew out. Those are our cards. Those are our cards right there. Sorry to pull so many Narata cards. I just want plenty of clarity for us today, okay? We're seeing rats. Ooh. I think it says you're eaten alive. <laughs> Spread disease. Cemetery. Scurry. Laboratory. Small mammal, furry, swarm, gnawing, tails, exterminator, mouse, black death, sewers, infestation, low life, squeaks. I'm going to tell you guys something. What stood out to me was spread disease. I, and I, I, I called it, remember, I accurately predicted that Princess Catherine would have had cancer before it was announced. Or that cancer was related to this news. And by the way, there's no such thing as found signs of some cells and preventative therapy. You either have cancer cells that are amassing into something, you know, the, if the cancer cells are present, you have cancer. That's it. Okay. And um, I, I think it's much more intense than what the royal family is making it out to be. Again, I'm making a prediction. I've made multiple times that Catherine, Princess of Wales or Catherine Windsor Mountbatten has stage four cancer. That is what she is dealing with right now. It says you're eaten alive and spread disease. With eaten alive, I feel like her mom is aware that this thing is ravaging her daughter. And spread disease, the disease has spread. All right, let's go ahead and look. We're getting the last one is chaos. <laughs> Mayhem, fractals, confusion, informal, no system, physics, chaos theory, Rubble, messy. Yeah, I feel like things are very frenzied and kind of crazy right now. And, and and she feels like trying to get a hold of her daughter is hard because it's almost like things are disorganized. A, because of this uh, having to deal with uh, Princess Catherine, having to deal with her health schedule and having to keep on her toes to keep up with this illness. Okay, and she's left and gone to go deal with it. The, things have been thrown into disarray. Okay, the normal schedule, normal ways of contacting Kate are no more. She just, she feels like, so this is what Carol Middleton knows about her daughter, that her daughter has been taken away to a retreat. She has left and is staying somewhere else. Remember I told you in the previous reading, she's packed her bags and left. She's not like at home with her family. That I mean, I don't think so. I think she's left, is at a hospital somewhere or at some kind of, um, like a retreat where there's a, there's a, there's like a hotel that's attached to the hospital and she's, you know, I don't know what it is, but something like that, like a center, okay? And then I'm getting that 
you know, Carol thinks that her daughter is being ravaged by disease and that things are currently in a state of chaos and that's, she's not been able to contact. She's not been able to really stay in touch with her daughter. Yeah, she loves her daughter, has empathy from a distance. Okay, she loves her daughter from a distance. It says you're a long distance. Loves her daughter from a distance, prays for her daughter from a distance. But she feels that her daughter is alive. That's what I think. But she is worried that this snake is going to strike and take her daughter away from her. You seen this, guys? She feels her daughter. Look at the worried figure there. And there's a snake that we saw in the first reading for what is going on with Kate. That first video that came up. And then we're seeing a fear, right? She's worried about a snake striking and look, a skull. So I think that right along with Carol, with Carol Middleton, we should, I think that right along with Carol Middleton, we should all be praying and sending our love, sending our prayers. Yeah. So this is all I'm seeing in the cards at this time as far as what does Carol Middleton think currently of her daughter, Princess Catherine, Catherine, Princess of Wales, if you found this reading enlightening, please hit like, subscribe, share, turn on the notification bell, and I will catch up with you at the next one. Bye.